Hey guys, happy Friday! <laughs> yeah, happy Friday guys. Um, finally got a few minutes to just sit down and actually do my makeup for the day. Y'all, today I was just like shoom, 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 all over the place and so finally, hang on, let me see if I can zoom in on my mug. There we go. That's a little better, right? There we go. All right. So yeah, I, I wanted to come on and do some makeup right quick. I'm going to just stir crazy and finally get the chance to um, go live. And the bad thing is when I went, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go live. My husband just went to go take a nap because he's gotta go to work tonight. And um, I was like, the kids are being quiet. I was like, oh no, my phone isn't charged up. So I plugged that bad boy up and I'm going live anyway. So what's up? <laughs> All right. I'm trying to make sure I have everything. I thought I had everything laid out before I come went live, but y'all know how I am. There we go. Gotta make sure I have my little spoolie brush. Okay, so I'm gonna get started now. Make sure I'm not all catawampus. <laughs> okay, so my tea tree soap finally came in yesterday. My facial cleanser. Because I've been talking about how my face has been getting kind of oily since you know the summer has really started to kick in and you know the humidity here sucks. So I finally tried the tea tree, tree soap, tea tree soap, ugh. last night and this morning. I woke up this morning and I was like, my face isn't as greasy feeling. I was like, yay. So I'm going to continue to use that and keep giving my updates. Usually sometimes it can take a couple weeks for your skin to finally get used to a skincare. Let me talk a seal. Okay, you will go play. You'll be nice. Please, mommy, live. I want to Anyway. So yeah, I was super stoked about that, just using it twice. So I'm gonna keep y'all updated on how my skin does. Like I said, um, sometimes it can take a couple weeks for your skin to regulate with a new skincare. So, let's see how it goes. My daughter is super tickled. Like, we finally decided that it's time for her to go from one of those small plastic toddler beds to a little girl bed, like a twin size bed. So my husband and I go online, we go looking for toddler beds. All right, so I just put primer and transparent powder on and I'm about to put some time locker on top of that. Um, anyway, so we went to looking online, trying to find her a cute little toddler bed, you know, I mean a twin size frame and what have you. And um, I was looking on Amazon, eBay, and Walmart and I'm like, really? I really just don't wanna spend that much for a freaking bed. It was like, two three hundred dollars and i'm like y'all watch me y'all know that i'm cheap <laughs> so um my husband went on marketplace just you know to see what all they had he found a race car like a twin size race car bed and showed it to my daughter and now she is bound and determined to get a um race car bed and i'm like you know what if that's what you want that's cool <laughs> whatever i'm not gonna argue with you so he's supposed to be going and picking that up tomorrow. If it all goes according to plan, he'll be picking that up for her tomorrow. And she is so excited. Like, she's like, I'm getting a race car. I'm like, yeah, you're getting your first car, huh? <laughs> I'm so tickled. And it's a Corvette, too. That's pretty cool. My daughter's getting a Corvette before me. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so I'm putting just a little bit of eyeshadow primer on. Make sure my, my eyeshadow stays for a while and make it look more bright, vibrant. I about said vibrant, y'all. Golly, my mind is off on another planet right now. Okay, so that was eyeshadow primer. Hi, hope you're having a good day. She's in there saying happy birthday to me. <laughs> Her birthday's on Tuesday. She is so excited, guys. Like, she's more excited about it than I am. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to cry. I'm like, my baby's gonna be four. Why? <laughs> I can't handle it. So maybe that car bed will be an early birthday present for her. If it all goes according to plan and we can pick it up. She needs a bath, y'all. You're playing in the dirt. Happy birthday. 
So right now I'm using the liquid concealer to just cover up any kind of ish, eh, that I want to cover up. That's all I'm going to say is eh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to keep that out because I know I'm going to have to use that later. I'm trying to keep my brushes organized too and the more I keep putting them over there, the more I feel unorganized. Like I've got to get into the habit of putting everything up when I'm done because I'll just leave everything strode out right here. <laughs> my kids are like, ooh, playtime, no. I've got some more goodies coming um, within the next week. I'm so excited. I can't spill the beans on everything that I got yet though. Let's just say I'm going to attempt to do a Beetlejuice look once all the stuff comes in. How exciting. I love Tim Burton type stuff. And I saw a Beetlejuice look the other day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I want to do that. I Yes, I can. I know I can. I just gotta believe my. It, I gotta believe in myself when stuff comes in because I'm like, I'm. I hype myself up about. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. And then when I'm actually sitting in the mirror with all my stuff, I'm like, ew. <laughs> you know, can I do this? Yes, I can. It might look like a hot mess the first time, but I get it. And usually when I do like Halloween -y type stuff, like looks, I don't go live with them just because there may be some choice words that I don't particularly say on Facebook Live. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll have to see if I do that one live. Might just drink me a big old glass of wine and say, screw it, let's do it on live. <laughs> Got a little bit of liquid courage. Oh man, I love that one that my husband's been buying me since the first of the year. It's called, um, what's it called? It's either Georgia Tailgate Red or something like that, but it's a red one, but it's super sweet. Oh my gosh, it's, it's like drinking Welch's grape juice with alcohol. So good. I can't help it, I love that one. That's why I was so ill the other night when I couldn't get it open. I'm like, I cannot get this wine open. I saw finally went on Facebook. How do you get this wine bottle open? Hubby ended up opening it with a broke finger. All right, and I finally got another brow pencil in. So hopefully I can still do my brows with a brow pencil. <laughs> it's been a minute because my brow pencil got to where, if I can reach it, it was super small. So it's hard for me to hold it once it gets small. I have butter fingers. So I quit using it and just kept using the brow powder. But let's see if I can do my brows with a brow pencil. Still, cross your fingers and your toes. Here we go. Hey, y'all don't make a mess, okay? I guess they're in their building fort or something. All right, let's see if I can do this. I'm stalling because I'm getting nervous now. I haven't used a brow pencil in forever. I'm one of those people, once I get used to using a certain product, like brow powder or, hi, hope you're having a good day, brow powder or um, pencils, I stick to those. And I gotta practice with this again. So if you see some funky looking eyebrows today, I apologize in advance. <laughs> oh, did y'all see my freaking uh, Facebook story? What am I cooking? I have no idea what I'm cooking yet. <laughs> no idea. I have any, I mean, I wanted to cook chicken, and then I'm like, I don't have the stuff for this, so, hmm, I don't know, I might make another tater tot casserole, I don't know yet, but, um, did y'all see my Facebook story with that daggone gator? Oh my gosh, like, we had went down and didn't see it, so we were on the way out, um, from where we were driving out at, and, uh, my hubby's, my hubby's, he's like, oh my gosh, look at that, I'm like, what, 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 you know, what are we talking about? I thought he was talking about a bunny rabbit, honestly. I'm like, oh, where's the bunny? He's like, no, gator. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, yeah, let's just keep going. He's like, no, no, no. I want to get out and record this thing. I want to catch it. I'm like, no, you don't end up having no fingers left. You just broke your finger. Now you don't have them eaten off. <laughs> like, really? What did he do? 
he jumped out of the car. I'm like, I can't take you nowhere. I can't take him nowhere, y'all. He's sitting there recording the gator. Go, come here, gator, gator, gator. I'm like, what are you doing? Get in the car. Because I'm, you know, I'm hanging out of the window taking pictures and like zooming in. I'm like, yeah, I can get a good picture right here from in the car. He's like, no, let's jump out. Y'all, he about gave me a heart attack yesterday. <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna start calling him caveman. No fear of nothing. It's like that one time we was all at his parents when he lived, when they lived out in the country. <laughs> we were sitting there talking about common sense, okay? And then he saw one of those big old red cow rants, you know, the big red and black ones. He's like, these things won't bite you if you pick them up. Hmm. He didn't know that they had stingers on the button. So he picked it up and he's like, look, it's not biting me. About that time, the stinger came out of the uh, fire ant's butt and stung him on the thumb. I, y'all, I lost it. Like, we were hitting him, him and his mom and I were just talking about common sense. <laughs> and he goes and picks up a cow ant. <laughs> the stories I can tell y'all. I'm telling you. Woosa. Woosa, okay? Woosa. Y'all just got me completely sidetracked. Thought Allison was spazzing out about something. Like, what? What is going on? Partially stalling too, trying to not mess up this eyebrow either. Y'all. I can't believe my daughter wanted a race car bed. Of all the things, of all the different kinds of beds, she wants a race car. She's gonna be one of those next, what's her name? That girl that races cars. Danica Patrick, I think. She's gonna be the next one of those. Every time that we're out in the, ro uh, out in the woods, go faster, daddy. I'm like, y'all are trying to kill me. So I don't handle being in the car very well. I have very bad anxiety in the car. Unless, you know, we're actually out in the woods you know, going slow. But I honestly think that she's going to end up being one of those race car drivers. Y'all pray for my nerves. Y'all ought to see her on her bicycle. On her little scooter that she can push with one leg. She's hauling tail out there, my child. Please slow down. You're giving me a heart attack just looking at you. It's like when you have kids, your heart is on the outside of your body just walking around being wild animals and you're just sitting there like, come on now, don't do this to me. My mama heart can't take this. That and the fact that they're getting so big so quick, you blink and they're boop. What in the world's going on? Like y'all supposed to be babies forever. Like, Leanne, I'll be 12 this year. Like, what? I remember changing her diapers. No, no, no. Abigail, Abigail. She, Leanne was potty trained when I came around. Leanne, Abigail was the one in diapers. I remember changing her diaper. Talk about wiggly worm. That was one child that hated t getting her diaper changed. I'm like, honey. It's either you get your diaper changed or you have a stinky booty. There ain't no in between, you know. You gotta have your butt changed. <laughs> oh, she'd fight me tooth and nail. It's like that meme that's out now, like changing your toddler's diaper, where the left side's supposed to be like expectations versus reality, and it's like wrestling a crocodile. Exactly the way it is. She hated getting her diaper changed. She was so hard to potty train too, oh my gosh. There was one time we were potty training. So we just started potty training. We decided to take the kids to the park. I said, go use the potty before we leave. And she did. I think she did, she said she did. <laughs> so anyway, we get to the park and we're over there playing and having a good time. Next thing I know, Abigail's hiding. I'm like, where did Abigail go, y'all? If y'all know how I am as a mom, you know if they're out of my eyesight, I can it. Um, just because of everything going on in the world. And so I go looking for her. She is squatting behind a slide, taking a dump in her britches. I'm like, all right.
Alrighty then, I guess we're going home. We got home and changed there and went right back to the park. But still, I was like, honey, you could have told me you had to go do, you know, go do you do, but let me take you to the bathroom at least. She said, no. She was so hard to potty train, so hard. To the point where I would have to put like that plastic wrap um, on her mattress. She finally got to the point where she was tired of hearing it when she rolled over, so she, you know, learned to quit using the bathroom in her bed. But I wasn't about to ruin that mattress, though. Mattresses ain't cheap. Especially mine. We went to... I don't remember that mattress store. It's in, it's in town. But we had went testing out mattresses. And we're like, yeah, we want this mattress. And they didn't have one in stock that day, so they had to deliver it. Um, they delivered the mattress. We, we ordered, what is it? Not the soft one, not the firm one, but the one in the middle. We got the middle one. We, that's what we ordered. They delivered a firm one. And then, you know, we never got it situated because at the time we're like okay this is the middle mattress it's just a little firm because you know it's new so anyway we had we ended up paying i think over two grand for a mattress we didn't even order for but it's paid for <laughs> it sleeps good now if you rotate it every so often <laughs> it, i don't like firm mattresses i like soft and comfy and i told him i want a I want a soft mattress. And he's like, no, 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 I can't sleep with a hard, uh, soft mattress. I have to have some firmness. So we compromised in the middle, and he still got what he wanted. <laughs> still got what he wanted. Not intentionally. We did order the medium one, but it is what it is, I guess. We won't be going back there, though, to get another mattress. That's for sure. If I spend that much on a mattress, I want the one I paid for. You know what I'm saying? Well, that was back, you know, we didn't really want to complain too much. We're, we didn't, I don't know, we didn't complain too much about, you know, okay, well, at least we got a mattress now. I guess that's all that would really matter at that point because we were sleeping, I think it, yeah, we we were replacing our water bed because that water bed got to where I could not sleep on it. Kept feeling like I was about to fall off of it. Even though we had it where it's supposed to be and the rails were there, we're just doing this all night long. Mm -mm. I thought I would love the waterbed. Turns out I did not. But it was cool for a little while. I didn't want to feel like I was laying on a boat when I was trying to sleep. <laughs> really. All right, so I'm coming in. I didn't even tell you what eyeshadow I'm using. Whoops. All right, so this is the Vintage Season Eyeshadow Trio Kit. I use this one often. It's one of my favorites. So I'm going to use this today, and then I'm going to come in with, like, a really bold lippy. I've already picked it out and everything, guys. Yay. So y'all have to sit here. I'm like, hmm, what am I going to use today? Got everything already out. Think. Y'all, I'm so ill with my children right now. Their toy room is a disaster. It's bad. It's really bad. They're gonna clean it here in a little while. They just don't know it. Last time it got this bad, it literally took them three days to clean it. Three days because they'd get up there clean for a little while start playing or sitting down acting like they're cleaning <laughs> so it'll probably take them another three days to get it done but it's got to be done next weekend it's a very important weekend um, we're having family over to um, celebrate my daughter's fourth birthday and I'm not about to have that room looking any kind of way because, you know, the kids do go up there uh, to play, you know, sometimes, if they're over. So, we got to get that room clean. Well, they need to get that room clean. I'm not touching it. I tell them, you know what, these are y'all's toys. 
I'm not cleaning it up. I had to stop doing that because they would get to the point where they would throw toys all over the house and then I would have to clean them up and it would be, it would get to where it would weigh too much on top of all the other stuff I have to get done. So I was like, uh-uh, y'all are cleaning this up, not me. All right, so I'm coming in with this light, like tannish champagne color. I don't, like I said, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe colors like know exactly what the names of them are. I'm just like, I can tell you what they look like. But it's pretty. They got into, um, what is it called? The series of unfortunate events. They watched it on Netflix like a long time ago. They didn't realize that there was actually a movie. So they've been glued on that for the past couple of days. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like they find a movie that they like. Instead of watching it every now and then, they'll watch it over and over and over again. Like Scoob, that new Scooby movie. Oh my gosh, I think I have seen it like 50 times already. I'm like, I can't anymore. I'll sit there on the couch while they watch it. I'm gonna sit there diddly fart on my phone. And they're like, this happened and this happened. And I'm like, I couldn't tell you what happened because I have done tuned out. <laughs> They're like, why, why? It's such a good movie. Yeah, because I've seen it like 50 times. I'm good. I don't want it. I don't want to see it no more right now. All right, so I'm coming in um, in the outer corners of my eyes with the brown, grayish brown. Um, right here. Y'all, I gotta tell you about a really tickling moment yesterday. Very humbling too. Um. So, you know, I posted about it on Facebook, but I want to talk about it. I was laying in bed, drinking my coffee, you know, watching Hubby play his video game. He never gets to play video games, like, ever. So, I was just sitting up there watching him. I wasn't saying nothing, you know. I was like, all right, I'm going to check my Facebook, see what's going on. And I saw that my sponsor was live in our team group. And I was like, what's she talking about? You know, honestly, I thought that she was talking about the opportunity event that we have this weekend. And so I was like, okay, what's she talking about? And she was crying. Like, she was crying, emotional, very heartfelt. And I'm like, what's she talking about? She was talking about me, guys. She was talking about me and how hard I have been working. And, um... Finally hitting like a huge rank for me and uh, to see her go on Facebook live in our team group with like I don't even know how many women are in that group guys. Let's just put it that way. I don't know And for her to sit there and be like oh my gosh, she's doing the thing. She's doing it Y'all look at her and what she's doing. I'm like, oh you know, I just bawled like a baby. And all my husband's doing, he's patting me on the back. Like, congratulations, babe. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> it, was, it was very humbling. And so that's why I made the post the way I did, saying, you know, you're not just another number on our team. You Once you click Beauty Influencer, um, as far as wanting to be an influencer, not, you know, for discount, but an actual Beauty Influencer, we're family. We, of course, you're part of the family if you, you know, get the beauty influencer kit for just the discount, yes. But as far as, like, work team, you know what I'm saying? Work family. You become, like, a family. We are always there for you. We cry together. We laugh together. We pray for each other. We cheer each other on. And so, just, that just really put a lot of positive perspective on pharmacy for me because you know that's what we're all about we are all about family and helping each other and cheering each other on because at the end of the day we're all there for the ultimate same goal to help others to make money you know so it was just awesome it was just it was amazing and this was right before she had to go live in our opportunity group to talk about the opportunity of pharmacy. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, the fact that she took her time out of her day to go live to talk about me and what I'm doing, like crying and everything, it, before she has to even go live herself. I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all, y'all. 
I was so tickled. Like, so tickled. And you know, she didn't give up on me. And that's awesome. Because she made it very clear. She's not there to baby me. She's not there to give me all the answers. But she's there for me and to cheer me on and to do the things with me. And that was just awesome. That was just awesome, guys. I freaking love our team, love my sponsor. I love everything, you know, there is about our team. I have never been a part of a team that actually gives a snot about you, you know what I'm saying? You know, at first, I've been with some teams and some companies. Yeah, at first, once you're in good, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. And then once you, once they realize that you're not actually making as much as they would want you to, they kind of quit talking to you, you know? And that's not what our team is about at all. And it's just awesome that for literally 20 bucks, I have changed my life the way I have. I've grown in confidence. I have grown another family as far as like work family. Um, I am hitting rank, I am making money, I am helping others for $20. I have gotten my investment back several times, <laughs> several times with pharmacy, like over and over. It's just, it's a great opportunity for real. Sorry, I'm trying to focus right quick. You don't know how I get, I get quiet. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I have been on cloud nine ever since yesterday about it. Like, oh my gosh. You know, she's been right there with me. And that's what I tell people that join with me, um, to run with me. I'm right there. I won't, I won't do it all for you, but I will help you every step of the way that I can. I can give you the tools. You know what I'm saying? The tools, the knowledge, the one-on-one -on -one training, whatever you need to help you. But I'm not going to do it for you. You know what I'm saying? And some people don't like to hear that. Some people just don't like to hear that at all. They want to be. They want to jump on your team and they want you to do all the work for them. And you can't do that. You know, you can't do that. You, you drive yourself batty trying to do that. But our team is just... And of course, y'all know I'm very partial to my team because it's my team. It's our team. Alright, I think I'm good for now. Maybe. I had to scoot my light a little further back. That way um, my phone would reach the charger because they give these little bitty phone cords. Like my phone charger to this phone is like, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half long. So I had to compromise and move stuff. So I feel kind of out of sorts right now. Okay, I had to get me something to drink. I'm getting a little dry. I'm coming in with the highlighter palette, if I can get it open, and I'm going to be using, uh, since I did use more pink on the crease, I'm going to come in with a pink highlight in the corner and on my brow line right quick. Y'all, I have like a roll of tissue paper right here, that way I can just quickly brush out the powder in my brushes. I really need to wash them. I'm tired of doing this. I was bound and determined to wash them the other day and then I completely forgot because my attention span is so bad. <laughs> like so bad. I gotta get some clothes out of the dryer right quick. I hadn't washed uh, hubby's work clothes since he's been off and so I was like, hey, I gotta do it. I hate that he's gotta go to work. But gotta make that money. Bad thing is he's working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, 12 hour shifts. I'm like, ew, that's gross. Uh, that's gross. But 
but um, hopefully he's staying off work on Tuesday because that's my daughter's birthday. So hopefully he'll stay scheduled off. All right, so a little bit of that pink highlight up underneath my brow line. Ooh, I think next time I go live, I'll do like a smoky eye. But I can't figure out if I want to do a smoky eye with a nude lip or a smoky eye with a bold lippy. Because today's going to be kind of bold. So I'm not entirely sure. I got to figure it out. Matter of fact, I'll let y'all decide. Smoky eye with a nude lip or a smoky eye with a bold lip. I don't know how to create a poll. So that would be cool if I did. Ooh, y'all. I forgot to put my mascara between my legs and warm it up before. I'll just stick it there right quick. Go ahead and do a little bit of eyeliner while it's warming up. It's gotten to the point that once I did start warming up my mascara before I put it on, I'm a little uh, obsessed. <laughs> obsessed. So, yeah. I love putting mascara on now when it's warmer than just sitting there room temperature. Alright. Just brushing out my lashes right quick. Y'all be careful. I heard Allison say, ow, neighbor. Y'all, if y'all could hear my daughter talking, you would sound, you would hear her sound so country. I was like, that's my baby. Bold look, so smoky eye with a bold look. Okay, that works. And now I just got nervous about it. <laughs> like, super nervous. All right. Let's see if I can... Oh, one of the things I did order was metallic uh, silver liquid eyeliner. Oh, girl. I can't wait to try that. I'm still trying to get used to doing a wing, though, guys. It scares the tar out of me, especially live. Hey guys, do me a favor and quit running in the house. Before y'all end up smacking the wall again. Got called out on live. Yeah, my four year old will go running through the house and run smack into a wall. I'm like, do you not see a wall there? Apparently not. I guess she's going so fast, everything's a blur. It's funny until she starts crying. Like, I told you there's a wall there, and then she's crying, and then I feel bad. I don't know what it is about me laughing. Like, it's so bad. I don't understand why I laugh the way I do when people get hurt. I just can't help it. But she'll learn to quit running in the house. If she smacks the wall, you would think she would learn the first time. It didn't happen. I'm one of those parents. I used to be one of those parents that when my kids got hurt, oh, are you okay? Are you okay now? I told you not to do that. <laughs> Don't be crying at me. <laughs> they hate it so much, but I'm like, I did tell you. I did. Y'all just hard headed. They really are. They get that from her daddy. I believe that's where their hard headedness came from. Hi, hope you're having a good day. I'm just kidding. My daughter, that's all me. That is all me. <laughs> I, I, I want to blame it on their daddy, but it's her daddy. My daughter. But it's all me. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Like, it's driving me insane how hard-headed she is, but at the same time, she is going to be a very strong-willed, independent woman one day. This is the eye that I can never do good wing. Don't, don't say that. 
If, if, if you just said what I think you just said, do not say that. You hear mommy say that, but you don't say that. She's a neighbor. Okay, I thought she said a-hole. <laughs> Literally, I thought that's what she said, a-hole. Not the actual word, but <laughs> a-hole. Thank you. That's why I need to learn to watch my mouth, guys. I honestly thought that she said, but I can't help it. Like, I have been having a potty mouth for years, years, literal years, probably before I should have even been just cursing to begin with. As long as they're laughing and playing, right? It's fine. Hope they don't get all wired up. See, this, my, my wings never match up. This one's going this way. This one's going all over the place. I guess it's because this lid's a little bit more hooded than this one. I don't know. But I'm scared to keep tinkering with it because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> but then I'm obsessive, compulsive, so I have to tinker with it. <sighs> like, I hate being so obsessive over stuff. It's really bad. <laughs> And I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it alone now. All right, so i got to finish right there. I don't see how some people can do their wing eyeliner just like this. I'm like, how? Teach me your ways. Y'all, I've just remembered that I have scotch tape sitting in there that I could have used as, like, an outline. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I completely forgot. But I need to learn how to do it without the tape. Right? Me? They make me so nervous. I can't see them. I can hear them. We have like, here's my dining room. The next room is the kitchen. And then we have like a dinette on the other side. Like we have a kitchen bar with a dinette on the other side. And they're on the other side of the kitchen bar where I can't see them. Very tricky little girls. As long as I don't hear anybody hollering, I guess. Knock on some wood. Pray for me. Alright, so we're coming in with my favorite mascara, guys. It's the Zen. If you don't have it, you need it. $8.90. You cannot beat that, guys. So, yeah, you need it. I have paid almost $30 for mascara, but I don't even come close to the Z. Y'all, I really did used to spend way too much on makeup. <laughs> way too much. Because like I, I said a while back, I always thought that the higher price stuff was always the best. Golly, was I wrong. <laughs> Golly. I'm telling you. I ain't never switching away from pharmacy at all. We have convention coming up and I really want to go. But that would be a seven hour drive for us. And I don't like being in park. And um, we also have three kids. So I don't know how we're going to plan that one. Plus, convention weekend is the same weekend as my oldest bonus daughter's birthday. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yes. Love the Zen. Yes. Yes, it is the bee's knees. The, oh, I forgot my lip conditioner, guys. 
mind frame of a goldfish. I need to get me an organizer, a planner, or something, whatever you call them. However, whatever, whatever it is, I need one of those. Start planning out my days, like kids' breakfast, kids' bath, kids' what, whatever. That way, I can stay on track and keep get more stuff done throughout the day. Cause I honestly feel like a chicken with its head cut off, running around all over this house trying to get stuff done. Like I'm one of those obsessive cleaners, but also one of those ADHD cleaners to the point um, that I'll start doing something. And like I'll clean out the refrigerator. Maybe cleaning out the refrigerator. Oh, the pantry needs to be cleaned out. So I stop doing the refrigerator, go over the pantry, get halfway done with the pantry. Oh, well, the laundry needs to be done. And I'm just, you know, all over the place. It's a curse. Really is. It really is a curse. <laughs> I cannot even. What is happening? One of my mascaras was in the wrong spot. I'm starting to get into the habit of organizing this stuff, so I gotta make sure I keep everything in check. All right, so I'm coming in with the VFX Pro Camera Ready Foundation, and I am in between shades. So I mix 00 and 01. This is porcelain, this is vanilla. Mix them together, and you got me. <laughs> All right. I need to go back out into the sun and get a little bit of my tan back before my mama comes next Friday. I'm kind of, I'm trying to figure out how to do that and keep Leanna occupied. I need one. I, yeah, I need an agenda so bad. But I'm kind of trying to figure out what we can do outside as far as playing and stuff with Leanna having her arm in a cast. Like, they said that they could barely see the, f I don't know, they could barely see it on her x-ray. So it's, they, they say it is mainly inflamed, but they still put her in a cast and it cannot get wet. And the only time that they actually want to go outside is to play in the sprinkler. And I'm like, well, she can't get wet. What's she gonna do? Cause when I go outside, they get in the sprinkler. That is me time. I will get out in the sun. I will get in my little bathing suit and I will catch all the sun that I can before they're like, uh -huh, I'm ready to go in. <laughs> That's what they sound like to me. So, and I'm one of those people, once I get out in the sun and park my butt, I want to be out there for about a couple hours. <laughs> Not no 20 minutes. But I gotta figure out what she can do. Cause I know Abigail and Allison want to get back out there and sprinkle her, but I don't want her to feel like she's being left out too. I did tell her not to get on the trampoline though. We are having the battle of wills in this house between me and her because she's going through the preteen phase. So it's like the battle of wills. What's what am I gonna put up with? What am I not gonna put up with as far as her being a preteen? So lesson learned. Listen to me. <laughs> it was one of those little little trampolines for like little kids. Tell her not to. I just hate that she's in a cast. I feel so bad for her. When, she, when it first happened, I've been using dry shampoo in her hair um, because she can't get her cast wet. I'm trying to, figure, hey baby, I'm trying to figure out how I can get her hair washed, like actually washed, not dry shampoo, until she can get this cast taken off. I've never broken a bone in my life, so I have no idea how to do any of this stuff. Not at all. What time is it? Except your toe. I won't set my toe, but my toe has been all right. Yoga play, you just got me sidetracked. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. No. Go play. Y'all just got completely sidetracked. What was I talking about? Oh, I need to figure out what we can do. Because I don't want to take them out there and play in the sprinkler and then Lee and I have to feel left out. She's 
shoot a hurry. I was laying out in the sun getting tan too. I am so glad I started taking care of my skin though. Cause if not, oh my gosh. I don't know what my skin will look like as much sun as I get. <laughs> I swear I feel like my wings look completely like different. Sidewalk chalk. The only thing about sidewalk chalk that I just can't stand is my kids. My kids are little boogers. You get them a brand new thing of chalk and they will sit there and write them in half right there in front of you. I'm like, well that's just five dollars wasted. <laughs> wasted. That and bubbles. Oh, you can make your own bubbles, too. That's awesome. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I think I'll make her some bubbles. Bubbles! Reminds me of that fish off of Finding Nemo. Alright, so I'm coming in with the contour stick today. Love it. Getting back into the habit of using it. <laughs> I gotta move that little bitty baby here, there. Get out the way. Hi, hope you're having a good day. That probably doesn't look even, but it's all good. It'll look all right once it's all blended. paper before Tuesday. <gasps> Try to get some something wrapped for her. I told her she could open one present on Tuesday because it's her actual birthday and then she can open up the rest on her actual party day. Does that make any sense? She doesn't like it. She's like, I want all of my presents today. I'm like, well, it was not even your birthday today, so. <laughs> Sorry. Where in the world am I going to find? Thank you. Thank you. Um, where in the world can I find Little Mermaid wrapping paper? Besides the party store. I got to figure it out. I need the Little Mermaid wrapping paper. She is set on Little Mermaid even though she has only seen the Little Mermaid like twice. I'm like, why do you want a Little Mermaid birthday? Because I want it. Okay, little sassy. Try the dollar store. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of which one is closest to me that might have it. I know there's a Dollar General down the road next to the bread store. Ooh, I love the bread store. Speaking of the bread store, um, so I am one of those people that like those uh, tasty cakes, uh, cherry pies. I only like the cherry pies. And um, my husband came home with almost a bag full of nothing but cherry pies. I'm like, oh my gosh. Because when I was pregnant with Allison, that's all I wanted to eat for like the first trimester. That and cheeseburgers. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was cherry pies. Oh, and mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, I love mashed potatoes. So, and on the side of the town that we used to live on, I mean, same town, but other side of town, we could never find them, ever. And uh, so he goes to the bread store the other day to go get some bread, and there they are. And he's like, babe, they're only like three for a dollar. I'm like, get them all, all of them. <laughs> Because when we lived on the other side of town, I was literally on Amazon trying to find, like, the box full of them. And it was, like, 50-something dollars. I'm like, y'all are out of your mind. So, the bread store has become my new favorite store. Ooh, they got those little carrot cake things, too. Oh, my gosh. I love junk food. <laughs> I really do. Like, 
It's gonna catch up to me one day, but I don't care. I love food. I I love it. But it's weird. Like, I'm one of those people that won't eat very much for like a couple of weeks and then I'll go on a bender and eat like everything in sight for like two or three days and then go right back into not wanting to eat anything. I'm weird. I'm just weird. What's up? Say that. No. Say, I say hello. Not right this second, baby. You're covered in dirt. Hi. Okay, well, come on, since you're already up here. Come on. I just said no when you're coming anyway. Hi. They can't see you. Hi. Lean over. Hi. Lean over. Hi. Lean over. See, she's got dirt all over her face. Okay, get up. Like I said, she is very hard headed when it comes to. I understand. Go ahead. I'll talk to you later. But uh, she is very hard headed, y'all. Like, hard headed. And it's all me, too. It's all me. That's so bad. I know it's me. <laughs> the apple doesn't far, far from this one. All right, so she got me all sidetracked. And this liquid concealer, once it dries, it's kind of hard to move it where you want it. So I gotta make sure I get it quick. I don't wanna have little white dots all over my face. Have to pull out a stiffer brush. y'all she's going bonkers bonkers luckily for me i'm almost done so oh before i forget we're well i had a catalog up here i guess not next time i come live i will show you a new lippy that i've got coming in it is gorgeous. I thought I had my cat, uh, catalog over here. It's not. I swear. It probably grew legs like the rest of my stuff and walked off. Alright, so I'm coming in with some blush. I love this brush. It's blush is number 15. Um, I like it just because when I'm going for more like a glowy bronze look, it goes really good when I contour my cheek. See what I mean? Ain't that pretty? That's gorgeous. Just like that. I love that. And I'm pretty, I'm going to pat myself on the back, okay? I'm pretty proud of how my brows turned out today since it was the first time I've actually used, like completely used a brow pencil in a long time. Like I've dabbled with it, you know, past couple weeks, but I always come back in with brow powder. But this is all brow pencil today. Yes. 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 Okay, so now that I'm all peachy, I'm going to put a little bit of that liquid concealer up under my eyes and come in with some transparent powder on top of that um, and try to hide this, okay? Oh, um, mom, you know, I've got bags. It's okay. I call them the Mama Crystal Saddle Bags. It's all good, but we're going to try to hide them today, okay? <laughs> And I'm going to trademark that eventually one day. That way nobody can steal that Mama Crystal saddlebags. Trademark. Okay. Just kidding. Maybe. And this stuff dries pretty quick. So I want to go ahead and blend it. With that setting powder. Transparent powder. Transparent powder. Excuse me, guys. I want to make sure that I use the right terms for our products and sometimes it just goes whoop and it comes out whatever but it's actually transparent powder you could probably use it as setting powder but we call it transparent and 
um, when I put on the transparent powder, I use it a lot, guys. Um, but when I put it on, I put on a very thick layer. Because you can always brush it off later. I cannot believe my husband got out of the car yesterday when it came to that daggum gator. I'm like, please stay in the car. Please stay in the car. Nope. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna give me a heart attack one day, guys. Like, for real. What am I gonna do with him? All the kids need bubbles because they always end up hurting themselves. He needs to be put in a bubble to keep himself safe. <laughs> Going out and jumping after alligators. I swear. It was lucky that we were actually on the back road with hardly any traffic, though, because I'm like, you know, you can't just go jumping out of the car. Crazy animals here. I love that man, though. I swear he's going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> I swear. And the funny thing was, is um, me and one of his high school friends were actually just talking about um, how he goes out to the river and how he came across a gator. I'm like, oh my gosh, I would have cracked my brushes and da 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 da. And he's like, shit, yeah, about dead. And then my husband jumps out of the car Mama. with a freaking gator Mama. on the side, right? I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, Yes! Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Y'all be careful going up them stairs. I sure can. Just send me your address, okay? Yeah, send me your address and I'll hook you up. I'm trying to think now that um, I put a little bit of that pink highlight on the brow line and on the inner corner if I want to come in and highlight gold or do I want to keep it pink but I've got this really pretty like peachy bronze color going on after I've contoured and put on blush blush <laughs> so I don't know mm. this was the best investment too like oh my gosh like I can't even I've got so many different options I can do with well so many different things I can do with this think I am going to stick with the pink thing. Um, yeah, I'll stick with that. Stick with the pink. Y'all, it's almost every single time that I go live, my dog wants to chew on herself. Like, really? It's so annoying. That is my biggest pet peeve. Hearing my dog sitting there licking and chewing on their booties is just awful for me. And, uh, if I hear somebody chewing, like smacking gum or chewing their food, I'm like, I have done punch, throat punched you in the face like 500 times. <laughs> like, I can't stand it. But then again, you can't say anything about it because you don't want to sound rude, right? So I don't say anything. I'm just like, mm, I hate it when I can hear somebody chewing. Like, I, oh, oh. Or stomping. I can't stand stomping. I don't know what it is. I guess the stomping for me, I guess, comes from childhood. I don't really like loud noises. I don't. Like, loud noises startle me so bad to the point where I'm just, I don't like it. That made me sound like a huge chicken, but I'm really not. I'm really not a chicken. It's just certain things. You know how you remember certain things from different times in your life and you're just like, eh, I don't want to be there again. Okay, and I just realized I'm way back there, guys. Can you see me better now? <laughs> All right. I feel like my eyelash is sticking. I need to do what my sponsor does because it <laughs> mascara, sometimes your eyelashes will stick together. I need to do it like my sponsor does. She'll actually get one of those big old sewing needles and she'll sit there and pull them apart because the sewing needle is really thin. So she'll get in there and get it. And I, I need to start doing that, but I'm terrified I'm going to end up poking my eyeball. Knowing my luck, I would poke myself in the eyeball and it would be brutal. It would be bad. It would probably be one of those, you probably need to go to the emergency room type things. You know what I'm saying? All right. I am glowy. And I haven't even highlighted my, my uh, what you call it yet. I'm going to leave that transparent powder on just a little bit longer, though. So, until then, I'm going to be using um, some lipstick. 
Um, I'm coming in with a really bold color. Ooh. It's called Sweet Cherry. This is one of my newer ones. Eventually, I'm going to have all of them. After this shipment comes in, I've got like two of the liquid lippies left to get before I have them all. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> and I really, I prefer the liquid lipsticks. Um, I'm not knocking any of the other lipsticks that we have, but once these dry, these do not transfer. The other ones will transfer or not last as long, they'll break down. These do not. These are these dry matte and they stay. And that's honestly what I need. So that's what I use. But to each their own type of lipstick though. But I really cannot wait for that pigment to come in so I can try that Beetlejuice look. That's going to be fire <laughs> if I can pull it off. What is that? Y'all, they smell like cake. They really do. I forgot what they was watching on TV and I heard like this sci-fi stuff. I'm like, what are they watching? They're watching uh, Charlie the Chocolate Factory, the one with Johnny Depp in it. That looks about you, right? <laughs> I've really thought about getting the liner just for the like the darker colors that I use because sometimes it is hard for me to line it good um, so I definitely have been thinking about investing in some of the liners for the darker shades now, as far as the nude and like lighter shades I don't have any problem with that it's just the ones that I want to feel bold with And that is Sweet Cherry. That is awesome. I love this one. I was going to use Wild Rose. It kind of looks like this one. It's just a little lighter, I guess you would say. It's a little lighter. But for the life of me, I couldn't find it. Y'all, I've got lipstick all over my house. No joke. Mmm. just a little bit more on without getting all over the place. And I did. Probably making sure it's not my teeth too. There have been several times I've gone live and did my lipstick and stuff like that. I'm just sitting here talking and jabbering and then I look at my teeth in the camera and I'm like, oh god. There's, there's lipstick on my teeth. So. Ah. It's this one spot that drives me insane with bold colors. Because I don't want it looking like it's all over the place. There we go. That's a little better. All right. So now I'm going to take off this transparent powder. I'm so sad that they were tiring these brushes. Um, I have the black set of these um, pharmacy brushes and they were tiring. But with everything with pharmacy, if it gets retired, it's being replaced with something better. So I'm kind of excited to see what's going on with that. I can't 
I know a little bit, but I can't spill the beans just yet. Put it to you that way. Would we'll just be excited for it because I am. I'm excited. All right. So I'm going to come back in with the highlighter palette with that pink highlight that I was just using and go ahead and highlight right above where I put that um, what's it blush. Um, putting it right here and then kind of doing it right here for me, like right up under my eye. For me, it helps kind of cover that bag. I put the concealer, I put the transparent powder, and just a little bit of highlight helps draw the attention away from it. Which is awesome. Awesome class. <laughs> I'm a complete mess, and that's okay. Pop it on the hot mess express. Alright, so the last step in my makeup routine is my hair's a mess. Is the time locker setting spray. Once I spray this, my makeup doesn't go anywhere, which is awesome because I've got this new makeup remover that I'm dying to try. It's uh, the. Uh, we have the Scentsy Wipes, and I usually use those. We have the Micellar Water, and then we have the Biphase Micellar Water. I've got the regular Micellar Water this time, so I'm dying to try to see it, what it does, and how it takes my makeup off. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for that one too. So, but I'm kind of excited, yes. All right. Well, that went right up my nose. <laughs> Okay, so my makeup is done for the day, guys. I gotta jump off and get the rest of my hubby stuff ready for work and to wrangle up these kiddos, make sure they're not getting into trouble. Um, so until next time, stay blessed, stay safe, peace.